Unfortunately, this trick only works if you're married. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. A while ago I made a video about how to drill square and straight and it, it basically it's a very simple thing once you get used to it. Drilling a square hole is very easy. But there are a few tricks and almost like hacks that you can do to make it work a little bit better. And I thought when I was making that video these are a little too gimmicky, they're just they're they're kind of cheesy looking almost, but they work. They work really well and I had a lot of people ask, you know, why didn't you talk about that? So, I figured I'd make a whole new video and show you two different other techniques you can use to make sure you draw a hole perfectly square or perfectly plumb. And it's a fairly simple method. Let's dive in and take a look. Now first up, you just want to take your wedding band off, slide it onto the shank of the bit, chuck it up in your brace, and go to town. Now the nice thing about this setup is that if you're too high, the ring will slide in, and if you're too low, it will slide back towards you. So you can set it in your gut, and you can move it back and forth until eventually the ring starts to stay in the same place, and you can very easily tell if you're out of plumb side to side, because you're looking straight at it, but up and down is a lot harder from on top. So if you keep this in place, it lets you know if you're going too high or going too low. You'll see it coming back towards there, you need to lift it up. If you see it going towards the bit, that means you need to drop it down a little bit. You just hold it there in place. A fairly simple way to draw a perfectly level hole through a board. Now for the second tip, you just want to get an old CD. And this is a lot like the saw trick where you're looking in the reflection to make sure you're sawing straight. So you put that down on where you want to drill, put your bit in there. If you're using a larger bit, you may need to pre-drill out the CD. And then I can put my head on top of here, and as I look down this bit, I can very easily see if I'm leaning left or right, and I can also see if I'm tipping back and forth. And I can make sure I drill a nice clean hole by looking at the reflection all the way down. And now, just looking at that reflection, I can easily see, am I out of plumb, am I out of square? And I can make sure that that hole is nice and square to the surface, with just a CD. So I hope you like these, a couple quick tips on how to drill a hole, and know that it's good and accurate with some simple things that you might just have lying around or on you all the time. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I had a little bit of fun with this one. Uh, if you'd like to see more like this, uh, feel free to check out Patreon. Patreon is the reason why I can keep putting out videos like this, and I do want to say thank you to everyone who's been helping me out with that. You guys are absolutely awesome. Also, if you'd like to subscribe or see more behind-the-scenes footage, you can do that as well. And until next time, have a wonderful day.